Hello and welcome back to day 7 of 100 Days of Code. If you have been benefiting from our channel while learning, give us a thumbs up. And if you're new here or haven't subscribed yet, we'd appreciate it if you did. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our learning. In the previous lesson, we saw how we could use the plus sign either to concatenate strings together or as a mathematical operation where we add two integers or two floats. Basically, two numbers together. In this lesson, I want to show you some of the other mathematical operators that you have access to in addition to adding. The next obvious one is subtraction.so7 to 3. You would just use the minus sign, but then when you get to multiplication, it's a little bit weird. Um, instead of using the X or some sort of time symbol, you actually use the astronine.so, you would say something like 3, 2, and that would be 3 times 2. Now the final one is division, and that's done using the forward slash, so 6, 3, and when that prints out, it'll give you 2. Now one thing to notice here is that whenever you're dividing things, you actually always end up with a floating point number. So you can see even though 6 divides into 3 cleanly, we're still getting 2.0. Now the last one that's really useful is 2 asterisk signs, and this gives you access to the exponents or when you want to raise the number to a power. So for example, if you wanted to get a hold of 2 to the power of 2, then you would write it like this, and 2 to the power of 2 is of course basically just 2 times 2 which is going to be equal to 4. Now if I change this to 2 to the power of 3, then that's going to be 2 times 2 times 2. So that should be 8 and so on and so forth. Having the exponent being built into the language is one of the reasons why Python is really loved by a lot of data scientists and mathematicians because it's really optimized towards manipulating and handling numbers. Congratulations! You've made it through a full week of lessons, which is no small feat. In fact, you've already surpassed over 50% of people who start something and never finish. But I know you're not one of those people you're determined to keep going and succeed. So take a well-deserved break, get some rest, and come back bright and early tomorrow morning to keep the momentum going. I'll see you tomorrow in the next video.